It's your boy, the war in the DMV. And today we got the JG Woody indictment, man. It's about to get crazy, man. I got a special music selection for this episode and everything, man. Uh, pretty much also, man. Y'all going hear a lot in this episode, man, because it just gets crazy. And don't forget, y'all, if y'all want to be on my episodes, man, y'all want some promo, man, hit me up at Real War in the DMV, man. Today we got a special music selection from uh, Slim Gleesh, man. Real solid dude, man, real music. And shout out Famous Animal TV, man. They the one who first recorded this live masterpiece. Slim Gleesh. Give a fuck about that nigga having next. My next flip will be a key. I'm not a hater. I'm just saying, fuck them if they ain't trying to run it up with me. Me without a glizzy is like who love you when you gone. That's something you will never see. Wake up the bad bitches by my side without being hooked to an IV. Chop a tie G. Hit his ass up the middle. Spin his ass like a riddle. Don't lean with me. I had your kids mixing they spark bottles up with Skittles. I ain't have a bed. I slept on Aunt Jane the couch with a giant sport full of pillows. Remember that hole earn had in the wall? That's why I used to keep the pistol. Name it out and did it. Bodies over state lines. Double did just stay time, Chanel, I'm sorry, you ain't never told me no All I do is make you cry, it's sad but true I'm just an ordinary dude, indecisive state of mind Meaning it's hard not to put you through some shit when I'm still on the front line I had to make sure they understand I'm not a perfect nigga by far I don't beat on bitches, but I yoke your ass up and stick your ass in that car We disagree and you don't wanna speak, really no need to plan on the phone Know you gon' text a bunch of paragraphs, I'm telling you now I ain't gon' respond, my word is barred Grew up on doing whatever I told niggas that I could So I ain't pay a pass, looking out for everything Everybody, knowing that I wasn't good, loyal to the hood Rather struggle with my mans instead of saying I couldn't do it Now I feel stupid, same nigga talk about me like I ain't did nothing for them Fuck them cause we done really did for us Inside parking lots and suites Some of my niggas never coming home Few of my niggas still in the streets I don't be quick to tell nobody what'd happen to niggas if we had beef Last motherfucker was found stankin' in his car Dead for a whole week I was just flipping through magazines just to give me a nut Till I got a smartphone You ain't go through that bed with me, I ain't mad Just don't expect for us to talk long my little Niggas concrete, if I sell them a block, that shit getting walked on Put myself in the loop, nigga, tell that shit to your circle whenever you talk to them None of the pussy niggas that you hold be conversating on the phone with Gave up on the record deal, ran my racks to the ceiling when they got my own shit Cause you bought with no hoe feelings, she leave me behind, I know I ain't gon' trip I went got the side piece, cause the 52 be in the finish of 50 dinner I am It's your boy, the war in the DMV And uh, pretty much JG Wardy it's going through it, man. He was caught entering the house. Well, they caught him trying to enter the house. He was caught with about 356 grams of Merle Gion or Junja Janja. Yeah, he got caught with that stuff. He got caught with some oxycodone, man. He got caught with machine guns. So pretty much, man. Put that boy in the oven, cause that brother is cooked. You can leave a love that chicken for Popeyes, or you can go and step on the other side of the business world, the KFC, but that man is fried chicken. He was caught with approximately $11,000, five firearms, an alien arms, five, five, six AR style pistol, man. Five, five, six, 32 round ammunition and the magazine, the baby 50 edition. Uh, spank his ass. Uh, chasing nigga down with that Glock. Uh, spank his ass. He was caught with that shit, man. That's some crazy shit right there. A Glock Model 20, 10 millimeter semi automatic handgun. The firearm was loaded with 16 rounds of 10 millimeter ammunition in the magazine. A Smith and Weston. SD9, man. The firearm was loaded with 12 rounds. This man, then he had the giggle switch, man. He was caught with the giggle switch, man. And I'm pretty sure that thing was loaded as well. So he was caught with all loaded firearms. Let's, let's be thankful that it was the police that ran in there. And not a group of backdoor con artists, man. Because who knows how that would have went, Mr. Uh, Brambo Jr. God damn. I ain't know Jay-Z Woody was moving like that, man. That's crazy. And that pretty much 
I'ma tell you where it gets crazy, girl, man. Would you believe that this man was out here moving heavy, right? But he was moving through text messages, man. So it's like, all right, say I sell a million dollars worth of something that's illegal. Just, you know, just imaginary talking. And it's a text message for everything I do. You think I ain't about to get caught, man? You think they ain't about to have one of them text messages, man? And I ain't even going to lie. That man was taxing. But we're going to get into that later. This is pretty much right here. Uh, is where you see that um, they denied his bond because they said he was a serious flight risk. And due to the level of, you know, firearms and stuff he was caught with, they called him like a danger. You know, that's just what they're using. And um, pretty much, let's get it. One ounce, 145. He done sold this man. They have his whole track history of Mary Jane, man. It's all in the text messages. Defendant directing a street-level dealer on who to sell and how much to. Three grams for 20 bones. You hear me? Okay, you hear me? They got the messages, man. He texting every play, man. Four ounces for 540. My man is sitting here. Oh, my God. I know the paid and full hustlers would have been like, damn, God moving loose booty. This is just crazy. Do y'all see this? This ain't made up. This ain't AI. This ain't Alan Iverson. This is literally text messages of every move. What happened to the hello? Yeah, I'm on my way, bro. Okay. Oh, I'm outside. Okay. What the hell? 21 grams for 100. Lord. They out there trapping, trapping on the phone, man. Then look at this, man. Video call event. You hear me? It's blurred out, man. Let me see if I can read this. It's not adding up on y'all not playing with me, my money. Oh, my mother, bro. Ain't nobody stealing from you, bro. Oh, my God. He was directing the hits. Making them youngest risk their life and then terrorizing them too. He is telling them boys, play with my money, Smokey. It's like playing with my emotions. And knowing this man was riding around like, you know, how he was apparently, you know, allegedly riding around. That is just crazy. The defendant discussing the availability of one pound quantities of marijuana for 1800 each on August 28th. Bags in for 18. Da da da. Who would have thought that you would send a text message like this and it would come back by you when you shit? Damn, that's just crazy, man. That's why I said, I tell y'all the streets is a lose lose. But y'all look at me for peace and, peace, and, <laughs> peace and positivity. And y'all look at me like I'm crazy. Do y'all see this? They got my man wholesale catalog. Like my man, like they taxing this. Like my man doing Walmart transactions. He got everything. And my man said, fuck no, 700. He was not giving y'all Chick-fil-A service. The defendant offering one pound of marijuana for 2100 each on the 25th of 2020. Because, you know, the prices apparently went up because y'all owe him money. And playing with his money is like playing with his emotions. So, you know, they got their messages, too. They got him on Instagram. He Instagramming. People were hitting him like, yeah, Brody, what's the number? How much, bro? And then pretty much the gas house dispensary and California show multiple bags and shipping boxes, you know, for the defendant and bulk marijuana that, 
You feel me? It was shipping to him to be in so so he had the Cali plug sending the bowls through the mail, you hear me? So instead of pulling the money ma and going out there and getting some Skittles, man, he was getting them boxes through the mail. He ain't getting no Skittles or no laugh it taffy. No laugh it taffy. He ain't get no laugh it taffy. Don't no laugh it taffy. He ain't get none of that. He just got it straight through the mail, man. And apparently he got pictures with all that. The minute them bags showed up, he was like, I'm looking sweet, mo. Let me hop on the ground. They ain't going to see this anyway. Who would have thought it would end up like this? He got all that in the paperwork, man. That's just crazy. And then the crazy part is, though, bro, when you tell these kids the streets is a lose-lose, you know what they always say, man? Nah, I'm different. What makes you different than the other million of people that uh, make up the prison system, man? What makes you that one that you going to be out of, you feel me? You're going to be out the way with it. What makes you that one, you feel me? The, the 21 with the bill, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, he was selling firearms as well, man. But, you know, he wasn't selling them in person, you hear me? He was right there, you feel me, orchestrating the sale with firearms, machine guns, and all that. But of course, you know, he wasn't, you know, people don't have no privacy nowadays, so they'll get ready and call you and shout out everything you about to talk to them about, too. Whether you think you're serving a regular person, whether they may be an undercover man, they're going to shout it out. Let me get up! You hear me? But them text messages, man, was a major player in this case, man. And honestly, I feel bad for J.G. Woody because, you know, his rap career was going up, man. W. Harden was out there looking like James Harden, man. He was balling, and he was not balling on the budget, man. He was living real good, man. But I can't hold it, like I said. The thing about the streets is you ball for a quarter, right? But then what happened? You guys sit on the bench. It's just like basketball. Another AR pistol machine gun was purchased, man. And then he said, what's up with them? You feel me? He called the uh, Johnson A-Rod. You hear me? I think he called him A-Rod. I don't know. But pretty much... I ain't even going to hold, like, I don't know, bro. Y'all just, y'all different, man. Y'all different, man. That's why I'm glad I got to the age I got to where I can say, man, the streets is not cool, man. Y'all sitting in here, this is a a, a documentary level of pages. Do y'all read the number? Does y'all read the number right there? It say 30, 37 names. All of them official. Ryan through the paperwork, a lot of pages, nigga, south side, south side. It's a lot of fucking pages of this shit, man. Like, I ain't even gonna hold. And then the fact of the matter is that he never thought that, like, somebody could potentially get these messages. Like, I ain't gonna lie. And then they, they, they petty, too. They, they took the big sales and they went to the petty. They went to the three for 20, too. They wild for the three for 20 jump. They trying to get that man with anything they could get him with. And honestly, man, with all these pages and documented transactions, man, what can you really say? Like, how can you defend yourself against allegations like this? You really can't because they got everything. You hear me? Shit hot, he letting them know the shit hot, you hear me? He not fucking around, you hear me? You good, you hear me? He letting them know. Let me see a picture of the jump. I want to see how small it is, you hear me? And I'm, I'm letting you know, bro, like, shit like that. Another thing, too, in the messages, you, y'all be thinking the feds don't be hip to y'all little lingo. Y'all, they be hip. In the documents, you can see they said... The, the defendant talked about rolling it, you hear me, as in testing a firearm. They're on to you, Pete. The lingo been around for 30 years, man. 
Why didn't y'all just talk about this in person, man? Then they had the nerve to say that the firearms were in the reach of two small children, like so that if the kids were to accidentally get near it, they would have access to a firearm. Do y'all not understand those are ghetto babies? Boy, that somebody would have ran in that house that wasn't police, but them babies would have been like, goo goo pow pow, pow pow pow. Boy, them little kids would have been out there working, boy, baby boomers, I'm telling you. He had them kids trained like pit bulls. They knew who the police was, so they, they had to be undercover. Goo goo ga ga. But that would have been a regular person. That little baby would have crawled to that fifth. You're not my dad. Bow, bow. He'd been like, what? Yeah. J.G. Wardy had the kids trained, man. <laughs> but you feel me? Pretty much, you know. Pre-trial services, you know, they pretty much, they was not trying to let that man get no bond, no house arrest, be it the criminal history he had, the charges and the evidence they got. They don't really see no points in, uh, you know, letting them out on bail or bond. But pretty much... Now, the same... Pretty much the same weapons that were posted earlier in the indictment were the same ones found in the music videos, man. Pretty much that. It's just terrible, man. I don't understand, like, why. Like, it just gives a why. And just why y'all making this so hot type of thing, man. The defendant, right, posted a photograph to his Instagram account, which him showed him standing in a st- standing in a stairwell with numerous other individuals holding a semi-automatic handgun. They're calling him easily identifiable by his face tattoos, and pretty much they're like, that definitely was him. Like, so... You feel me? These aren't my words. These are the words that are in the paper that I'm pretty much reading. They then showed a music video with him holding the switch directly up to his face tattoo. Like, hey, this is me. I want you to know it's me. Y'all can't do nothing. I got all these and this is me right here. Then on top of that, oh my God, did you see how that jump caught back? Jam City, that jump's going to jam. Peanut butter jelly. Okay, but on February 16th, the defender posted a portion of a music video to his Instagram with the caption, the other side, man. And pretty much that same day, he posted another music video with a caption, can't be stopped, out now, Fox 5 or nothing. The video featured the defendant rapping at multiple locations, different clothes, and a dude with a helmet, with motorcycle uh, glasses with the same thing they found in the house. It's consistent. They probably got the same serial number. And, you know, just because they make a bunch of uh, different types of one thing, you know mean, that, you can feel me, it's still not identifiable by certain features. But pretty much they found that at his house, man, and it was a double homicide on March 20. 23rd at approximately you know 7 30 it was a homicide and not saying they're not saying it's him but i don't believe they're saying it's him but pretty much they said it was shots fired but shortly after the shots he was observed coming outside with a handgun in his hand on the cameraman and the crazy part about that is, it's a camera right there. So apparently you had to walk past that camera every day going in and outside the house, man. That's the footage right there from the body cam, man. His chin is very long in that photo because he like, damn, they really got me, man. But you got to understand, with the streets comes a serious charge, man, a time. You all got to go through it. It's either death or time, man. The other option, man, is to leave the streets alone. That's your boy, the one, the DMV, and I'm out.